like the saying, when life throws lemons at you, you make lemonade. This is exactly the story of a beneficiary of the Lagos Innovates Workspace Voucher. I'll be speaking with him on today's episode to see what he's been able to achieve with the Workspace Voucher. My name is Bola Afanu. I'm the co-founder of Drivertize. And for those who don't know what we do at Drivertize, Drivertize is a platform that pays everyday car users to use their cars in medium of advertising. So we basically transform um, everyday cars into an advertising channel for businesses. We started off when um, the subsidy was removed from petroleum products. Uh, my co-founder then, who um, was working with the company on the island, had issues um, um, trying to afford um, to pay for um, gas in his car. And that then he used to now tag along with some people going along the same roads. And during this period, I was out of the country, I was doing my uh, master's degree and I learned about the idea and then we decided that we should try and see if this could work in Nigeria and that was how it all started. I saw it online, I had had um, a brief stint of mentorship under um, the former executive secretary which is uh, Marky Ibodi and since then I've been following both um, um, Lagos Employment Trust Fund and himself personally on Twitter and when this came up I was um, very privileged to know about it and that was how I signed up. Well I signed up in January of 2018 and I got a mail, I was approved by February but we started getting the vouchers from March of 2018. First of all, we've been able to at least reduce our cost because now the cost of workspace is, is, is reduced. Um, secondly, the advices that we got from the free legal aid has actually helped us to properly structure our businesses. You know, before then, we were new in the startup scene and we were just um, basically operating aloof without knowing some of the legal intricacies of how we need to structure our businesses. So it has really, really helped us in putting a proper structure um, into our business. And um, the networking aspect of it, meeting other people like us, as, as I can't even describe it. We've met um, people that have actually given us businesses, people that we've also given business to. So there's no way we can actually even quantify um, how um, being on that the employment trust fund has actually helped us as a business. No. So there was no doubt actually. So um, before then, before they started doing stuff um, within um, the startup space, they've been doing stuff for small scale businesses. They have friends that are into cake business, furniture business, and they've been able to secure very cheap short term loans for, for them. And I think to the tune of about, I think about four million naira. So they, I've heard about them, I've seen, they already have this antecedent. So when it came up, it was easy for me to trust that, oh, obviously this is um, something that is real. One of the things that you need money for is to pay for work um, spaces. So instead of directly giving you money, they partner with co-working spaces along the city and then they issue these workspace vouchers. And that way, they've been able to tackle the funding challenge without actually giving you finances, which is actually very, very amazing. We are majorly concentrating on building up our team right now. Um, like I said before, one of the problems that we're facing is tech talent. So we are trying, what I did personally um, last year was to also try and see how I sent some people to go gain some tech um, um, talent, um, tech um, studies of their own. So now we are in the face of trying to build up our team and strategically solving the advertising challenges that the, uh, the idea was meant to solve. I would liken the Lagos Innovate Workspace voucher for Bolaho as being a fuel in a car. If you are in doubt, please check other videos by other beneficiaries or visit lagosinnovate.ng.